and Wimbledon men's final shimmered with historical significance. The American Pete Sampras was attempting to win a record-breaking 13th Grand Slam singles title. His opponent, the Australian Pat Rafter, was chasing his first Wimbledon crown. He did have two US Open titles under his belt, including a 1997 victory over Sampras in the last four. However, on the hallowed centre court turf, Sampras, a six-time Wimbledon champion, was a completely different proposition. The final got off to a damp start, with the first set interrupted by two rain delays, the second forcing the players off court for more than two and a half hours. We join the match in the first set tiebreak at five points all, with Sampras to serve. Your commentators, David Mercer, John Lloyd and Pat Cash. Six, five, Sampras. It's been a remarkable tiebreak. We've had six points against the serve in it. And now Sampras has the first set point, but it is on the rafter serve. Well, we've been looking for that serve the whole tie break. We've missed three. He knows that's it. Seven, the serve six, that Sampras does not like to return. Finally got that one. It's given him a set point. Seven all. Rafter's fourth ace, followed by Sampras's seventh. Seven all. Eight, seven. Sampras. Cranking it up a little. Nice being able to do that, isn't it, Lloydy? You and I with these power serves like that, we can do that anytime we want. Eight all. Sampras lets another opportunity slip by. Right onto his forehand then. It's certainly been the inconsistent shot this grass court season. Pressure's getting to them a little. Rafter's second set point. Well, just about expecting a double fault there from Sampras. He's certainly slowed his first, uh, his second serve down in this tiebreaker. He's making sure he gets everything in. And Rafter returned very well off the last, well, three second serves. But that one, what a great serve into the body. So far, two set points each. Sampras is getting unstuck at the moment. 
He knows he hasn't got that big kick serve, and he has to really hit that second serve hard to get away from Rafter's backhand. Thank you. Otherwise, go wide over the high part of the net, which is a risk. And that serve there from Rafter, that was almost a hopeful serve there. It's okay slowing it down, but that one, the direction wasn't that good and allowed Sampras to really have a go at that return. Eleven ten, Rafter. Again, Rafter going wide to the forehand. He served nine times out to the forehand and won nine points. That wide serve on the first point, on the first court. Rafter has his fourth set point. So Rafter with the early advantage. We rejoin the action in the second set, which has also gone to a tiebreak. A reminder that this man won the first tiebreak, 12 points to 10. Please. Thank you. Well, One, zero. that's now three Rafa. successive double faults in the tie breaks from Sampras because he ended with two in the last one. It's just predictable, isn't it? It really is. how lucky he was to get away with this slips down luckily hits it short enough that Sampras can't do much with that as the slip recovers can't do anything but it just drops short enough any other surface it would have been hit away he got away with it on grass celebrates because he has two points against the serve amazing there Four, a loose one, forehand there Rafa. from Sampras that was a tension filled shot there because he had plenty of time to get that forehand under control and didn't need to overhit it like that Guess that side by guessing the side is putting Sampras under more pressure, not knowing really where to hit the passing shot. He's not doing very well at returning Rafter's serve as it is, but uh, then all of a sudden he knows that Rafter is going to be there when he hits his passing shot. He's got one point back.
4-3, Rafter. Well, the tie breaks are becoming tales of double faults, and Sampras wins two straight points against the Rafter serve, and they're back on serve in this tie break. Patrick Rafter there had too much time to think there, which is unusual in this match when the ball comes at you so fast, but there had what seemed to be an eternity to make his mind up and then really choked on that forehand. Five, four, Sampras. Rafter is celebrating a little early in this tie break when he went up 4-1. Now Sampras has won four straight points. Sampras and look at that reaction. Six, four, it was a superb half volley from Rafter two, but not good enough. Wonderful forehand. Please. Two set points for Sampras. He had two in the first set. Just, six, five, just like scooping at the ball. Now right on the line. That's pressure. Now the pressure's back on Sampras. Boy, does Sampras need a first serve now. Success rate of 91%. So into the third set, it's two games all, and Pat Rafter is about to serve. Still awaiting the first break of serve of the match. <coughs> Love 50. My imagination didn't rather stub his toe as he was stretching for that volley. Oh. Well, ducked, sir. Sampras improvised so well on that first forehand return there. Blocked it out in front. And from that position, he's not going to miss. Love 40. Surely he's going to take one of either break points seven, eight, nine. Let's 
Kasa. to hear call customer under pressure 30 40. that was not easy well here we go this really is Sampras's last chance be a match-winning effort Jeez. from Rafter. Remember last year, Pete Sampras came down from Love 40 against Andre Agassi, served three unreturnables, got himself out, won the set, and won the tournament. Advantage, Rafter. This backhand, which got Jeez. up high, he handled well, Sampras. That's been one of his main problems, that return of serve. But there, enabled him to get that chance to finish the point with the big forehand cross-court. It's amazing how successful Sampras is at the ball that's not coming away from him. In other words, Rafter's having to serve from that angle onto his forehand. It's coming into his body. The one from this angle is going away, having a lot of trouble. Advantage, Rafter. Use. Yet another long service game for Rafter. Six times he's uh, been taken to juice on serve. Sampras, just the once. Oh! 
Advantage, Santos. A tenth break point of the match for Sampras. the only way Sampras can win these Sampras break points. Three against two, against two hours and 11 minutes and we have our first break of the match. It was a key moment. Sampras went on to take the third set 6-4. We rejoin the action in the fourth which the American has dominated. He's serving for it at 5-2. 15 left. There's a lot of flash photography coming out at the moment. A huge moment this is for both players. Now, Ralph had a great returning game last game. There's sort of one out of the blue. Please. Three points for a seventh championship and a 13th Grand Slam title. Oh, please, please. Game set and match, Sampras. 6 6-4, 6-2. Tears because at three minutes to nine at night, he has rewritten the record books as arguably the greatest champion of all time. An emotional Pete Sampras was quick to share his historic moment with parents Sam and Gloria, who'd flown in overnight to watch their son play in this very special Wimbledon final. Pat Rafter would never win a Wimbledon singles title. A hugely popular runner-up, he did come close again, losing the 2001 final to the Croatian Goran Ivanisevic, 9-7 in the fifth. Sampras won one more major title, the US Open in 2002, before hanging up his rackets for good with a then-record 14 Grand Slam singles titles. A feat that would be surpassed by Roger Federer in 2009. On this historic day in 2000, though, Rafter had to bow to a man who'd won his seventh Wimbledon singles crown. It was Sampras's last great moment at the All England Club. Uh, it means so much to me. My parents uh, were here today, uh, which is so important to me. Uh, they could share this with me, and obviously, I love Wimbledon. I love playing here. I've never had a chance to talk to the people here after I've won, so I'd like to thank everyone for supporting me over the years. Uh, this is the best court in the world, and I certainly look forward to coming back next year. With those seven singles titles to his name, Pete Sampras had confirmed once and for all, to that point at least, he was the greatest of all time on grass. <laughs>